Qatar is one of the most popular destinations for teachers considering jobs in international schools. From its luxurious shopping malls and vibrant community to its tax-free incomes and extensive selections of schools, there's something for everyone. Sure, teaching is all about the impact you have on your students, but it's also important to think about your own future. In this video, I will go over the different packages offered by different schools so that you can get an idea of which one might be the right one for you when you eventually receive that employment offer. Hello everyone, my name is Mbome and I am a full-time teacher working and living in Qatar for the past eight years. In my previous video, I talked about what steps you can take to land a teaching job in Qatar. If you haven't seen that video, I do recommend that you check that out and I will leave a link in the description box down below. In that video, I touched base on what requirements are needed in order for you to be able to teach in Qatar and I also gave you some useful websites where you can actually start your job search. And now, I know that when you go onto these websites it can be quite daunting there's so much information and these different schools offer different packages and you might not know which package will be the right one for you so I am going to make your job a little bit easier so I'm going to break things down for you and hopefully this will help you negotiate your way into a better deal so the term international teachers basically refers to private schools so in Qatar private schools are always on the lookout for internationally trained teachers as an internationally trained teacher employed by a private school you may be required to teach math English science ICT art just to name a few <laughs> If you are a secondary school teacher, obviously that means you will be teaching the subject that you majored in depending on which country you are from. So I know that in South Africa, in South Africa, teachers um, who teach in secondary major in two subjects. So you can possibly teach one of those or maybe even both. It is important to prepare yourself when you are coming over to work in a private organization as they are not necessarily required to adhere to national standards and how the school operates might be different to what you have come to expect in your home country. Schools in Qatar offer a tax-free salary which is amazing <laughs> to teachers and obviously with other benefits as well. So I thought the best way for me to show you these different packages is to actually go onto a website and just have a look around and see what the different schools are offering. So let's take a look at the first one. So I wanted to start off by us looking at what I consider to be the ideal package. Now this package it will be suitable for any family size, whether you're moving to Qatar on your own or whether you are moving as a family. Uh, it accommodates everybody basically. So you will be getting a highly competitive salary, free furnished accommodation which will be private, you're not sharing that with anyone, and your bills will also be taken care of. On top of that, you'll be getting free return flights to your home country each year and obviously your leave will be paid for now what got me with this package that made me absolutely just love this package even more you will get free school places flights medical insurance for your children now if free tuition isn't enough to grab you the school also throws in allowances for extra baggage and legal documents because obviously with you moving into a, a different country there will be some legal documents that you will have to handle on top of that medical aid insurance not only for qatar but also your home country what more would you possibly need this basically just sealed the deal for me because the cost of medical aid in south africa is just insane and to know that you won't have to use the public hospital god forbid anything should happen while we are on holiday back home so what we are going to do now is we are going to compare the other packages to this one okay with this package we really don't have much to go on but also be advised that some schools might not include all the benefits so this school provides accommodation however it doesn't state if it's fully furnished but i'm just assuming it is okay uh, annual flight is also included now no mention of medical insurance or kids tuition is there so let's just assume that um, tuition is not included this job will be suitable for a single person or a family that does not have kids because school fees here in Qatar are extremely expensive and you do not want to be working for school fees. 
Moving right along to the next package. Now, this package offers a tax-free salary, which of course is similar to all schools in the Middle East. You also get a fully furnished accommodation, which um, I'm thinking, I'm assuming with this one, uh, will vary according to family size. You also get an annual flight. Now, please do note that when we're talking about annual flight, we're talking about a return flight. So you do not have to pay out of pocket for your flight unless if the school gives you a certain amount but your flight costs a little bit extra, then obviously you will have to top up. Now, this is not with all schools. Some schools do actually pay for the full flight cost, all right? You also get health insurance and life insurance. Now, I'm not particularly sure about what the difference is. I'm assuming health insurance is um, medical aid and life insurance is like funeral cover. I'm assuming I'm not quite sure. Please don't quote me on that. And of course, you get your end of service gratuity. Now, with this package, please do note that the school fees, it's not full tuition. So you will have to pay out of pocket for the kids' school fees. They only give you a discounted fee for, this, uh, for school tuition. With this one, I'm just going to look at uh, the things that are different compared to all the other packages so the first thing that I've noticed here is that the accommodation even though it's fully furnished however the kitchen and lounge are shared which might not be appealing to everyone with this package it's more or less similar to all the others but with just a few things to note the return flight is only for employee and one dependent now this dependence could be your spouse or one child so when you accept the employment offer you will have to nominate a dependent and that dependent will receive a yearly return flight free tuition however please do note that tuition will have to be at the school that you're employed at so you can't um, say that you are taking your child and you are placing your child at a different school it has to be at the school that you are working at I hope you have found this video useful and informative but as always if you have any other questions please do message me on my Instagram or leave a comment in the comment section down below and I will definitely respond to you guys and if you want to give me any suggestions about future videos I'm always open to suggestions so thank you so much for watching don't forget to tell your friend Bachela Mangan Babu to subscribe to my channel I love you guys and I will see you on my next one bye bye can we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're going before we get lost. Can we just talk? Figure out where we're going.